Welcome back to another developer fundamental. What is it? It's to test your assumptions. What do I mean by this? Well, anytime you learn something, something new, maybe something I'm teaching you or something other instructor or book or resource is teaching you, you want to test your understanding and your assumptions. Because you don't want to have any magic black box that things are happening that you don't understand. You want to know how things are working so you can explain it to people. For example, remember how I said that self is referring to this player character class? How can we test this assumption with code? Well, if I had just learned what self is, what I would do is to say to myself, well, I want to see self. I want to know what it is. Mm, you know what? I'm going to return here self and actually see what's going to give me, right? I, it's code. I can return self if I want to. Well, let's do that. Let's create this player character. Yes, I'm 100 years old. And then here we'll do player.run. Let's do a print here and click run. All right. So the self is the player character that I created, which is player one, which is located here. Okay, so although this is a simple example, what I'm doing as I'm learning is to test my assumption. Is that what I expected? Before I even run this code, I like to think in my head, what do you think is going to happen? And if there's a mismatch and I get something returned that I don't understand, well, then maybe I look into it. For example, this underscore underscore main. I still don't really know what this is. Why is it is this here? I mean, it has to be there for a reason, right? And that's something that we're actually going to talk about later on in the course when we talk about modules. So hang in there. But the way that learning happens in an accelerated fashion is when you don't just take my word for it. Because if you do that, you don't fully grasp the concept. The idea is to test and test yourself as well and your understanding. And say, if my assumption is that self is referring to the object that we create, how can we test it? And this is a great skill that a great programmer has. So hopefully, in future lessons, when I'm teaching you something, you test those assumptions, you test your learning through methods like this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.